Hi everybody, how are you? Uh, in this video I will show you uh, the PHP Design Partner uh, Observer. The idea of this, um, this Design Partner is to add uh, functionality to an object uh, without uh, modifying the class. So I here I created a, a very simple example that I have a class, a nouth class, that I can log in and log out. And what I have here is three methods, an attach method that let me uh, add an object to an array. I have an array called observers. And what this method receives is an out observer uh, object. The out observer is uh, an interface that I consider that it will receive an out and an event uh, as parameter. So here what I have is, so I can, in an out class, I can attach out observers. So in my observer, I have to, I, I, I need to expect that I will receive an out uh, class. So I know what methods and what attributes that I will have on the other side. So here I will receive uh, an observer and I will add this observer to an array. This uh, SPL object hash is just to get a hash from my object. So I will have a, a unique identifier for this uh, object. So I can, if I want to attach again, it will uh, be in the same uh, array position. And with that I can uh, obviously, uh, and attach an observer from my object. So I, if I want to add and after, uh, by any reason, I want to detach an observer, I can use the detach method and pass the observer and I can remove this this object from, from, from the array. And I have to the method notify that receives an event is a string and inside it what I do is uh, for each in my observers array and I get an observer and I will call the update method this will when I will call the notify is when some event happens on my object in this case I will release an event when a person login or when the person log out and I pass the events login and events logout, I pass it in a constant just to to don't duplicate these strings and keep the logic in only one place. So what my update uh, method does, my what my, my update method does what I want that what that I want because here we receive an alpha that is the object this object I will pass the this here for the update so my alpha observer will receive this alpha and receive the event for me to know what what happened with my alpha object so I have implemented uh, this interface in two uh, class I have a forum a forum alpha observer this uh, observer what it does is when an, when the alpha re, uh, releases an update, <coughs> release the notify, it will call the update for of this observer and I will receive the alpha and I will receive the event and if my event is login, I will, what I will do, it's login in my forum and the event is logout, I will log out from the forum. So. Imagine that I have a system that I have an, an authentication method for my system and I have an separated forum application. So we can use an, an observer. So I can inject my observer in this authentication uh, class and I can log in when my, authentic, my authentication uh, object login in the in the system. So it's very useful to inject the forum authentication logic in my alt method without modify my my alt class
and the other uh, the other class that I implemented was the logger of logger observer this is a, a very simple uh, class that does does when, when I when my alpha object uh, release the notify and calls the update for for the my observers I will just log what event was released just to to add an example so let's test this in my index so what I will do is to create an alpha object that will receive a new alpha and I will create uh, a forum a foreign alf that will receive a new uh, foreign alf observer and I will create a logger that will receive a new logger observer and here I will attach to my alf the forum alf and I will attach my logger so I can create has as many uh, observer that I want and I can create a new class that just extends from alpha observer and I can add functionality to my alpha class without modify it it's very 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 useful so here I can call the login of my alpha and I can call after that my logout and I will add here some break lines just to clarify my example and here let, let's check how it, it run here so I will run here my I will enter my folder is behavioral observer PHP I have my index dot PHP so how you can see I have my forum now and my logger uh, observer so what happened is that uh, my forum login wa was called and my alf logger was called and the same thing for the logout uh, method and now what I want to do is to detach from my alf my forum uh, observer I don't want to log in forum by for a user by example so here I can just call the detach and I will call the login and logout method again to check what will happen with these these next lines so let's run it again very nice here I have the forum login the forum logout and here I don't have the forum login and forum logout because I detached my observer from my alpha uh, object so it's just 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 this for for this video uh, how you can see the observer is a very useful partner to add logic without a uh, modifier class to keep things simple this is a very important thing so another thing that I want to say is that PTP has class to implement the observer partner but I, I, I choose to not implement this interface because I don't, li I, I don't like the way it was implemented because I, I have to, to implement a very abstract class and I, I, it's impossible to know what what information I will have in my observer so I choose to implement my own uh, interface and to keep the things in the, in the way that I want and I still use the observer partner so if you want to, to check for these classes these are the SPL observer and the other class is the SPL subject you can use that if you want but I, I just do not use that because I didn't like that so just this for this video if you have a doubt or any anything that you want you can comment thank you so much for watching bye bye